everybody, welcome to my homestead and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to go over an article sent to me by Christian Zybarth called Mormons Go Back to a Sacred Valley in Missouri. And this is an article by the New York Times. Uh, this is actually from August 14th, 1985. So it's an older one, but it's uh, toward the end of the article that caught my attention. Now, this whole article, it's about senior missionaries in Adam Andai Amen, okay? Which I didn't even know that there were. Now, let me just read the article and then I'll comment after that, or I'll, I'll read this portion that I highlighted. Eventually, the placard said, as the Mormons withdrew, withdrew to Illinois, Adam Andai Amen was abandoned. But it was not forgotten. Over the years, church members returned to return for reverent visits. And in 1980, the church began acquiring the land its people abandoned, a series of hills and the Green Valley, some of Missouri's best farmland. The church now owns 2,300 acres, more than 3.5 square miles. And I'd be interested to know if they own any more now. Um, but it looks like 1980, that's when they started buying up land there. Okay, pursuing extended missions. Soon, elderly members pursuing a tradition of extended missions for their church began arriving to restore the area. The work continues, uh, pursued by mission members such as Bruce and Joanne Cleverly, a couple from Washington State, uh, Virtus and Bardella Reed of Idaho, and Alton and Zelda Dahl, also of Idaho. Of the 11 couples now working here on missions, that average about the average about 18 months. Mr. Cleverly, who is 38 years old, and Mrs. Clever Cleverly are the youngest. Uh, they left a hydraulics business back home in the hands of a partner to come and work in the mission's tree nursery without pay, as do the others. Now, see, this is interesting. It's interesting to me. I mean, I know that there's like there's service missions. I know that there's a variety of different missions in the church, but I find it interesting that there was, and I would assume uh, that there still is, missions dedicated to Adam Andai Amen, where they're working on the land. And in this case, these two are working on the the tree nursery. That's it's interesting. Mr. Doxy, fifty eight, is part of a super is a part time supervisor who, for extended trips here, left his investment business in Salt Lake City in the hands of his brother. Quote Most Mormons look forward to missions like ours, Mr. Doxy said, and they prepare for it. Workers here made no reference to preparation for preparation of a site for the millennium, and no plans have been made to reconstruct the old settlement, erect monuments, or build imposing edifices. The objective, said Mr. Do or Mr. Doxy said, is simply to clean up and beautify. And I have to wonder, was, was that the initial objective? Uh, what's happening now? So that's the end of what I wanted to read out of this article. Now, I've received some comments, and um, I've actually heard this, uh, you know, in my own personal history going back. Like, I think I, I actually think I remember hearing this in Institute from an Institute teacher, but I've heard multiple times, both personally and then now through the comments section of YouTube. Um, occasionally, I'll hear things like they're setting up communication cables. Uh, the one that I remember back from Institute was talk about setting up lighting in the area. Now, the people that were relaying this information felt, you know, pretty sure that they were giving me good information. And, you know, it's not that I don't trust them. We always have to kind of take these things with a grain of salt, um, you know, especially when it's secondhand information, but who knows, you know, I, I can't really tell. I can't tell if some of these are just kind of like hearsay, not really 
rooted in um, something official or or if it's the real thing. Uh, but I find it, I find it, whatever the case, I find it interesting that the church has or had missions to Adam on Amen, and it makes me wonder what's happening now. Um, among the, the more recent things that I've heard is that uh, they're clearing away, clearing away trees in the area. Um, I also heard about the communication cables. So those are like the two most recent ones that I heard. And then back in my institute days, which would have been the like early 2000s, uh, that's when I heard about setting up lighting. So I don't know if this is just kind of like a, a common, you know, um, rumor uh, throughout the church, or I can't tell if, if it's for real. Uh, if you have any stories or information feel free to share it below or email it to me uh, I'm not of course I, I wouldn't recommend anyone you know set their heart on these things but maybe just consider it uh, it makes me wonder what kind of things or what how the land would have to be prepared if at all for when Christ comes you know so the these missions here, that we're talking about in the 80s i wonder if it's just simply to like he said just to beautify the land um so it's a nice place to visit to visit the same way that we have you know temple square in other temples where you have gardener gardeners and people that take care of the property is that kind of what's going on um or is it something more so you'll have to let me know what you think in the comments below uh, but thank you, Christian, for sharing this with us. Um, I'm going to leave the link to this in the in the description below. And if you guys haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, like this video if you liked it, um, and then also make sure to share this with anyone that finds these kind of things interesting. And I'll talk to you guys later.